Hi, I'm Tony Stefani with Hillside Christmas Tree Farm. Today it's uh, well, middle of October and we are going to be doing some soil sampling. We're going to soil sample two different areas. One is kind of behind me here. We see some discoloration of the trees. So we're thinking something with the nutrient deficiency. So we want to see what's in the ground. Um, so we'll pull kind of a small sample in this general area kind of behind me or to the right over here is also discolored. So we'll kind of take this little eighth quarter of an acre or so sample and then we'll get that to the lab and see how, see what that looks like um i don't know if you can tell but the way the it's kind of sloping down so it could be a drainage problem it could be um you know there's a pond behind the camera here could be the backfill that they use from the dirt so just heavy organic clay and fur just don't do very well so but regardless we're going to take some uh, soil samples and see what the soil looks like Maybe we can uh, add more fertilizer to get some of this color out when the trees come, come of age. And we'll just keep on uh, working with it. So when we do a soil sample, the tools we have are our you know, coring piece. I bring a screwdriver to kind of clear out the samples and then a bucket to kind of collect the, the, the sample in. Um, you know, you obviously don't want to mix them. So I'm gonna do two areas. I'll have two buckets and I'll you know, just kind of take random areas in this little area. And where we're planting next year is the second location. And what we'll do is I will uh, walk that whole two to four acres. because so I think roughly that, that area is all the same. Um, before you kind of get going with this, the USDA has the soil, I don't know, the, the guide, something. I'll kind of, I'll share a link and I'll share what ours looks like but all right i think this is a good spot to kind of go over that usda soil survey um i'll share a link down in the description but to kind of give you an overview of it here's the website and we click on this start the program here we are with the map of the u.s so we'll zoom into our farm that up now we're going to set the area of interest around the plantable area then we get a creating this now we can uh click on the different tab here to soil map and we see our different soil types around the farm um over to the side over here we can kind of get some more information um, actually what I did, this was several years ago, I printed it off this, uh, soil report and it was, you know, around 20 pages or so. And it really went into detail, the, the type of what loam or clay, kind of the slopes and, uh, how useful it was for farmland. So now looking at this, we can kind of maybe base some of our soil samples of what we could be after. Um, the area of that yellowing is kind of right in here where I was talking about and we can see how that's all kind of around the pond and it could be that like I mentioned that hay that heavy uh heavy clay and just my personal opinion I think this might be a little off but you know I mean nothing's perfect but I don't think this line comes as high I think it more comes kind of down low um in the background of that video and you'll see in a minute but those trees that we're looking at that are real good color and kind of sloping up high is up here so that it really uh really matters and it, it looks pretty good i think that you know I, I believe these textures and where these lines are because i can see it when you turn over the field so this is a really neat tool um so let's get back to the video follow along
So some things to keep in mind when you're um, doing this is when you fill up your soil sample, you know, obviously here's the surface. And I usually take about, you know, six to nine inches or so, I'd say here to here. And that's the section that I'll put in the bucket to um, send to the lab. So the lab that I use is Michigan State University and they have um, you know, a whole department dedicated to Christmas tree production along with a big agricultural school. So um, you know, I get the results and the people there are really helpful. Um, Jill, who is retired now, actually emailed me and said, hey, you know, you got the soil sample. I don't think you put anything in it, but I recognized your name. So it's good that they have that, that we have that personal relationship with them, so. Hi, I wanted to wrap up kind of our soil testing video here. And um, the next step is after I pulled the samples from the farm, I usually bring them to my house and uh, get them ready the rest of the way. But um, the buckets are kind of, you know, full of chunks. So, I mean, this is kind of one core sample, you know, here's another. And we want to mix that all together and get a good um, good field average. So I'll break that up and get it smooth. And while I'm doing this, I'll re remove any roots or leaves or anything that I see. But what I usually do is just take a back of a hammer and just kind of mash it all down. It's all kind of nice soil sample mixed together. Now I will take it and put it in a bag. I'm going to label the bag. This one here was our 2021 planting. Like so, seal that one up. We'll do the same thing with that other sample that we we're working on, the pond. Here's our pond sample. Just gotta roll them up, seal it. Then I just double bag them because I don't want any male dirt in the male stuff. So and we got a little shipping box.
We'll put this in here. Next is filling out the soil information sheet. So we kind of fill out our name. We use uh, Michigan State University's Soil and Nutrient Lab in Lansing. Um, our identified field samples. Here they have a crop and on the back side is a list of our stuff, different crops. Um, we're down here under fir trees, Christmas trees. So based on the soils that we give them, they're gonna say, all right, for a fir, it should be this area targeted here, and then they'll give us the results and we'll go through that. So, um, I think that's it. So I'll put the check, I'll kind of put an envelope in here and I'll get it addressed and we'll ship it out and then we'll go through and see the results. This is how we do our soil testing here at Hillside. Um, I've been tracking it year over year and I do see the changes. So I think a rule of thumb is they kind of say you do three tests of rotation, one in the beginning, one about mid-year and then one before harvest so you can adjust and get the colors you may want and uh yeah all right i think that's it and uh thanks for watching